I loved the excitement of the unknown, and so it was I found myself trawling up to the near the top of a uh, somewhat active volcano in California to spend a night looking at Uranus. <laughs> yeah, I know, not a lot of people get excited about what unknowns might awake you looking at Uranus. I was actually interested in seeing if you get a decent time lapse of the moons of Uranus, named after fairies, you know. But this is so frequently the case when peering into the void of the unknown. Often, the more interesting discovery is not what you went looking for. So that's me there, spending the best part of a night, trying not to freeze like the snowfields around me for eight hours or so, with a telescope tracking Uranus. Condensed into a few seconds, what's impressive is not the motion of the moons, which is quite apparent, especially with the close orbiting Miranda, but the dynamism of the planet moving against the background stars. You see, with the naked eye planets, they tend to be so bright that they wash out the nearby stars. Not so with a very distant and very faint Uranus. Tick-tock, look to the skies and see the endless ballet in your celestial backyard.